On May 24th, buoyed by the success of talks in Istanbul one day before, GOB, via release, rescinded the Sarsoun Prohibition SI and declared the Sarsoun open to Belizeans. That release stated that, quote, the two sides, Belize and Guatemala, have informally accepted a situation in which there will be untrammeled traffic for Belize's military and civilians along the Sarstoon, end quote. But that wasn't the case on the ground, or on the river in this case. That warranted an immediate response from Prime Minister Dean Barrow. I'm extremely distressed, extremely disturbed by what has happened. We're trying to get to the bottom of it as near as I can gather. Uh, the people in Guatemala are saying, well, the foreign minister is still traveling. He had not yet or has not yet returned to Guatemala since the meeting in Istanbul, so that, in fact, the military had not been apprised of uh, new instructions regarding Belizean civilian traffic along the river. I do not find that satisfactory. Let me put it clearly, I find that most unsatisfactory. That statement from Prime Minister Barrow was made on May 27th. Foreign Affairs Minister Errington echoed it on June 7th when he returned to the country. We haven't heard from the armed forces, but, the, but um, the, what we got from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was that the foreign minister had not had enough time um, to be able to brief the military as to what, in fact, we had agreed in, in, in Istanbul. He was traveling, and so, you know, you have a chain of command. People are not going to um, do things unless they get instructions. That is the explanation we got. That brings us to the official Guatemalan document dispatched on May 28th, one day after the media's trip to the Sarstoon. It was sent to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and it certainly made no mention of Guatemalan military in the Sarstoon not being briefed by a traveling foreign minister. Rather, it states quite clearly that there was no agreement allowing untrammeled access to the Sarstoon. Referring to GOB's release, Guatemala's Ministry of Foreign Affairs states that, quote, as soon as the Guatemalan foreign minister was informed of the Belizean statement dated May 24th, he immediately expressed his concern to Foreign Minister Ellington and Ambassador Rosado because such statement did not reflect the content of the conversation, end quote. Those, um, certainly the last mechanism in relation to the SARS-2 was predicated on the understanding that while we are working out the mechanism, or people will be able to go and come without debt or hindrance. That is our understanding. That was a context within which we were negotiating. We certainly left the room with an understanding that in the interim, there would be access by Belizeans and Belizean military. Minister Ellington specifically said that to his counterpart. Without going into the details, I will simply say this. There was no rejection by the Guatemalans of what Minister Ellington said. I think the foreign minister of Guatemala suggested that he did not understand it in that light. That is quite clear in the document, which goes on to state that, quote, Guatemala is concerned about the disclosure made regarding agreements reached in meetings between the two countries and requests that such public disclosures reflect strictly what was agreed and stated, end quote. So with all that misspeaking, miscommunication and misinformation, the question remains, what of the Sarstoon? My um, understanding as of today is that we continue to use it without letter hindrance 
And in the meantime, we are working on a formal mechanism so that in the event of any untoward incident taking place, we have a way to resolve it harmoniously. For context, in its document, Guatemala states, quote, it was agreed in Istanbul to negotiate a cooperation mechanism for the Sarsun River, even though Guatemala reiterates that the river is an integral part of its territory, end quote. Is a cooperation mechanism the same thing as protocols governing a river over which both sides claim and assert sovereignty? Mike Rodon for News 5.